Welcome to the thesis statement practice lesson. Before we begin, let's review the three elements of a thesis statement, and then we'll turn them into steps that we can actually put into practice. Step one tells us to focus the essay's general topic and take a position on the subject. Step two tells us to offer a roadmap of the main points about the subject. And step three tells us to use active verbs to convey the underlying purpose for writing. Now, for practice purposes, let's say that we have been assigned an explanatory essay about the topic, distracted driving. The broad topic of distracted driving can be focused in many different ways. We could, for example, explain the causes or the effects, attempt to define the concept, offer solutions, or we could even attempt to categorize specific people who are more likely to be distracted while driving. For the purposes of this practice exercise, we will focus our topic by explaining solutions for distracted driving. But don't forget, step one of creating a strong thesis statement also asks that we take a position on the subject. This is because our thesis must be a claim. Notice how the claim, distracted driving can be stopped, takes a clear position and narrows the general topic to a very specific and manageable idea of significance. After focusing your subject and taking a position, your roadmap will limit the essay's content by defining the main points that you plan to cover in the body. Continuing with our example, here are three possible solutions for the problem of distracted driving. We could suggest added emphasis in driver's education, increased regulations and penalties, or we could even suggest that someone out there develop preventative technology. Whatever the case, notice that each one of these subpoints is a subcategory that promises the reader a new layer of ideas, each of which is related clearly to the focus topic. Now we're ready to put all of these steps together and create a strong thesis statement. In order to reduce the number of accidents caused by distracted driving, we must add emphasis in driver's education, develop preventative technology, and increase regulations as well as penalties. When we first took a position on the topic, we used the verb stopped. Had we kept that word, our reader would likely argue that the problem of distracted driving can never be stopped completely. So notice that I added an active verb reduce. This verb has greater meaning and conveys an attainable purpose for writing. Distracted driving can be reduced. Below you will see your general topic, success. I started the process by focusing this general topic for you, successful people. Now, you complete the remaining steps and put everything together to compose a strong thesis. After you complete the steps, restart the video and see how your ideas compare with ours. Please pause the video now, return to the previous slide, and fill in the blanks. When you have done, you can restart the video and see how your answers compare with ours. There are, of course, any number of answers for this practice exercise. Below, however, is what we came up with. Please pause the video now and look over our examples. Then you can restart the video. Pause the video now. Be sure your introductory content leads naturally to your thesis and consider adding a transitional sentence or two. Then, there is no need to reference either yourself or your paper in your thesis. Your reader likely knows who you are, and a fully developed thesis carries far greater strength than a flat announcement. Thank you for completing the thesis statement practice lesson. Now you're ready to move on to the next section which asks you to develop main points for body paragraphs.